What is up, everyone, and welcome back to OSL. So, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay, and yeah, we're in week 9 of this league. And there's only two more weeks, so this is the penult penultimate uh, regular season week. Because even though there's 16 teams, we only face 10 teams total, and then it's going to playoffs. Right now, our position in the league is a uh, fourth, and we are guaranteed playoffs at this point. Uh, the worst we can do is six and four, and I think to get eighth, the best, the eight, eighth place team can only go five and five. So yeah, we're kind of guaranteed top seven, which is great. You know, I'm happy to be in playoffs for the second uh, season in a row. But we got to see if we can maybe go further than we did. Maybe go to the finals. So yeah. Uh, this week, our opponent is Morgan and her team, the Blackthorn Bullet Club. If you remember last season, she was actually the Pirate Porygon Zs, so she kind of changed team name, but still the same Morgan, still the same Pori. And right now, I think she's ninth or 10th, and she kind of has to win both weeks, I feel, because I think to get 8th, I think you're going to have to go 5-5, five and five, and right now she's 3-5, and five, as I said. So, yeah, I think she's going to have to win both weeks, and we'll see how we do. Going over her team, uh, we have Aegislash. Aegislash is a great mon. Actually in UU right now in this generation. And actually comfortably in UU. I know that UU had a few suspect tests. You know, they quick banned Victini. They banned Terrakian. But Aegislash, they found, you know, it was okay for the tier. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, is it worth 200 points? I don't know. But it's a great mon nonetheless. Physical and special. Subtoxic is always a set. Oh, I feel like my voice is going already. Uh, so Togekiss is next, and I think everyone loves Togekiss. I know I, I thought about picking it up, but I think Togekiss is just a great mon overall. Where you know, you know, it usually runs Air Slash, you know, T Wave. It can run Defog, can run Roost. Heavy Duty Boots helps it out this generation, and it gets Tech moves or I guess coverage moves. It's like Heat Wave or Aura Sphere. You know, I think it's Psychic. So I kind of have to. I think that's one thing I'm taking note of. And yeah. Next up, Incineroar. Uh, it's actually a mon I really wanted to draft until Morgan took Incineroar. So, yeah. Um, great mon. Fire typing. I think it's great for 100 points. U-turn, party shot. You know, can run Scourge Dance. Can run all these types of coverage moves. So, I think it's a great mon. And, yeah, I do expect it to come. Especially because I have Ferrothorn. Araquanid, maybe a bit more one-dimensional as a mod, but it's valued more just because it has Sticky Web, and I think Sticky Web is a really nice option for Morgan's team. Water Bubble Liquidation hits really hard, but it doesn't really get much coverage moves. You know, it gets like Leech Life or it's Stab, but that's kind of it. Then Audino. Audino is actually another mod I wanted, and then Morgan scooped it up. So, because Audino gets Knock Off, gets Wish, you know, it gets Calm Mind. You can run Calm Mind if it wants to, and it gets... I think, it get, I think it gets quite a decent amount of coverage moves, so it's not a bad mod in his own right. And I think for 40 points, it's one of the better pickups. Next up, Jolteon. I don't know, I feel, sorry, I feel so out of breath. I feel like, I I told myself I wasn't going to record today, or like, I thought about recording this morning, like I said, but, or sorry, tomorrow morning. Jeez, I'm so out of it, but I thought about recording tomorrow morning, but I thought it'd be too little time, and I didn't really feel it that right now, but, I didn't feel like recording right now, but I think I kind of have to, so. We're pushing through. Uh, Jolteon. Uh, also a kind of a one-dimensional mon. If Baton Pass was legal in this league, I wouldn't be that mad at picking up Jolteon, but it has no hidden power now, so it kind of has to rely on Shadow Ball. And it does get Wish. I guess that's one thing. You get Wish into Volt Switch, but that's kind of all it does. I guess Voltazor is pretty nice for a team. Sorry. Uh, Verizion. Verizion is a great mon for 100 points. I think it's probably one of Morgan's probably late-game cleaners, or I guess mid-game... Mon that punches holes in teams. Because Swords Dance is great, Calm Mind is great, Scarf is great, but I think it has to limit itself. And I guess one matchup that I know for sure it's not going to do well against is Latios. Because if it runs Scarf, then I know what move is going to be locked into, and I can switchly safe in, uh, sw uh, safely switch in <laughs> Latios. That's kind of what I wanted to say. If it's Swords Dance, I'm faster. If it's Calm Mind, I'm faster. That's like that's what it comes down to. And I can kind of hit it with like a Psy Shock, a Psy Psychic. psychic which you'll see in the team builder. Dredigan. Dredigan's not a bad mon, especially because pure dragon typing is pretty good. Stealth rocks. And also gets a lot of all right coverage moves. It gets Gung Shot, Super Power, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, I think. So it kind of hits Fairy types pretty well with the um, Gung Shot and Iron Head. Kind of worried about all attacking, all out attacking Dredigan, but I don't know if Morgan's going to bring that kind of set, if it does come. And then next up, 
Galarian Weasling. Weasling? Weezing. I'm on, if you've been watching since Season 1, I'm on, you know, pretty well because we had it Season 1. And we did use it to pretty good success. But right now, fighting against it, I think I do have to be careful of it just because I think its typing is really good. And I get its Fire Blaster Ferrothorn, which would otherwise wall it. So, have to be worried about that. I have to be wary, I guess, not worried. And then, you know, it gets Defog, Pain Split, will o gets Memento, gets Explosion. You know, also Misty Explosion, which is a thing now. It gets Misty Surge. Now, that's something I didn't even think about until now, but yeah. Uh, Lunatone, not a bad pickup for 20 points. I think Rock Polish, I don't know if it gets Nasty Blood, but it gets Calm Mind. So Rock Polish, Calm Mind, and then like Power Gem and Psychic. Not terrible options. I think it's Earth Power as well. Levitating Mon. So, yeah. And then finally, Mudsdale. Mudsdale is a pretty good Mon for, I think that's 80 points. Can't really read my own writing, but I can't really read OBS, that's what it is. But whatever, uh, um, ground typing, stamina. Stamina with body press is kind of a cool thing, because you can get hit, increase your defense, and go for body press, which would become stronger. Get Stealth Rock, Toxic, and yeah, that's Morgan's team. What do I expect to come? Um, if Morgan brings a rocker, I do think it's Mudsdale. I think Dredigan, Lunatone, and Mudsdale are her only rockers, so yeah, I expect Mudsdale to come, and then probably the first three mons. Maybe a Raquinid, but I think something like Audino usually comes with the Wish Passing. So, yeah, I think I have to make sure... I have to keep in mind Audino, and then something like... Probably like Verizian or Weezing. So, HLS, Tokus, Incineroar, Audino, Verizian, Mudsdale, probably the team. But then that means, like, Togekiss, the Defogger, and I'm not sure how I completely feel about that. But, yeah, maybe, you know, Verizian or Aegislash doesn't come, and then Weezing comes. You never know. But yeah, so moving on to our team. First up, Neoking. Neoking stabs are really good this match. Uh, hits Aegislash, hits Togekiss, Incineroar, Jolteon, Verizian. It's, uh, I think that's it. But then I get coverage moves for stuff like um, Araquanid, stuff like Lunatone, stuff like Mudsdale. So we're running Life Orb, Sheer Force, kind of standard sub, stab, and Ice Beam. Ice Beam mainly for uh, Mudsdale. Uh, speed, I just went for max speed and max special attack. Not much to talk about, but I think this is the mon that I kind of have to revolve my play around, uh, this week. Just because I think it does really well, and it outspeeds some mons. I think it outspeeds a lot of mons, like, to I think it outspeeds Togekiss. I think that's one thing I have to check. Then, you know, Jolteon doesn't do that much to it. Verizian would do a lot, but I get hit it back with a sludge wave. And then stuff like Weezing Galar kind of resist its hits. This might be, like, because how good Nino King is, it might be incentive to bring Lunatone, but I don't know if Lunatone's actually going to come this week. Next up, Ferrothorn. So, I think on all the moves I brought on Ferrothorn, I actually don't think I brought spikes yet. I don't know, like someone maybe maybe someone can like kind of like correct me on that, but I actually don't think I brought spikes. So running Stealth Rock and Spikes, Knockoff and Gyro Ball. I originally had Leech Seed over Gyro Ball, but then I realized I was kind of like walled against Verizian, especially because Knockoff uh, boost justified, or I guess not boost, but uh, allows for justified to happen. So it's kind of like oh um. Probably not the best thing to do. So, yeah, I took out Leech Seed uh, and then put in Gyro Ball. Because I think Leech Seed was mainly there for Mudsdale. Because if I can get Leech Seeds off, um, I can heal up while it goes for, like, Earthquakes or goes for Body Presses. But I think something like Sp with Spikes, I think Gyro Ball is alright. Leftovers is also alright. And then Eevee Spread is a uh, Smogan. But uh, I went for more special just because, you know, it helps me against Jolteon, helps against Audino, helps me like Weezing Galar, even though Fire Blast is a thing. And then helps against a mainly special or Aegislash, because I think that's something I am worried about. Next up, Latios. And we're kind of running an interesting set, and I'm going to call it a throwback to Gen 4. Because for those who don't know, Latios was actually banned in Gen 4 OU. But it was, like, not recently, but like recently for like an older gen was unbanned. And it usually runs like a choice set, but it can run something that's uh, defensive, which is kind of like Recover, Roar, T-Wave, Dragon Pulse. But I can't run Mono Attacking because Mono Psychic, I get blocked by Incineroar. Um, mono dra mono like Dragon, I get blocked by Togus and uh, Weezing. So I kind of have to run something that's a bit mixed. So yeah, we're running Psychic Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt's the best tech option just because it hits Togekiss, it hits something like Araquanid as well. Reflect is mainly there for the physical attackers because Aegislash, Incineroar, Araquanid, uh, Mudsdale, Verizian, Dredigan, all physical attackers that I would love to get a Reflect up, so kind of a nice tech option there, and then Wish. So usually you run Recover, but I think Wish is not a bad option for me, just because I think, 
I can wish up and then like heal up Nido King, heal up Pangoro, heal up Ferrothorn even. So yeah, I think this is not a bad set, and I think it's a nice tech option to run. Uh, one the, the speed EVs, I think I believe I outspeed Jolly Verizian. So yeah. Comfe is next. I originally didn't run or want to run Comfe, but I think I had to because I needed I need a good defogger, and I didn't I kind of didn't want to run Altaria because I am running Latios. So yeah, running Comfe. Uh, might be a, my team might look look a bit kind of like standard, and even though I kind of wanted to experiment more, I feel like there's no way. I think this is the, the, kind of like the best team I could have ran, but I am running some like I guess Knights tech options in a sense. Yeah. Uh. Dazzling Gleam, Giga Drain, uh, main stat move. Dazzling Gleam hits mainly Verizion. Giga Drain mainly hits Mudsdale. And then U turn Defog. I think a U turn on something like Weezing. I could U turn on something like uh, Incineroar, even. And then Defog is Defog. Uh, speed EVs are to outspeed Adamant Verizion. So I kind of know that calc. If I have to go for a Defog, I will. And I was going to run a War Turtle, but I think with Aegislash in the picture, I can't really Rapid Spin, which just kind of sucks. Because I'm going to try and Spike Stack, but if he gets a. Uh, sorry, not he, she. It's up sticky web. It's gonna be uh, a bit of an issue. Maybe I should run like heavy duty boots on this, but I think running leftovers is probably the best play because I'm not running uh, synthesis. So yeah, Quagsire. Uh, max defense set looks pretty standard unless you until you look at the ability. Uh, we're running water absorb, and I think this is gonna be my lead against something like Araquanid, just because you know getting liquidation off on that. Or sorry, not getting a liquidation, but it using liquidation will actually heal me. And usually I run unaware, but uh, even with un unaware, liquidation hits pretty hard from uh, her side. So I have to be careful. And I thought about running um, Earth Power Yawn. You know, Scald I can't burn it, but getting a Yawn off might uh, incentivize it to switch out. So that can be a good thing. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I think Water Absorbs is the main tech option. Is it the best tech option? Probably not, but I think it's kind of a neat thing to run. And before I talk about the fun, I'm on some water. Man, I spilled some. That's the con of running it, drinking just without the lid. But, uh, finally, we have Pangoro with Scrappy Choice Card. So the speed tier just outspeeds Jolly or Max Speed Verizion, unless it, scar it itself is scarfed. And if it is, then I know. But yeah, I think this is a nice tech option because Close Combat hits Aegislash with Scrappy. Even though uh, Morgan, she has uh, Togekiss and what's it, well, Weezing, uh, I have Iron Head for that. And then Knock Off is basically a generic, not generic, but like an all-around stat move. And then Parting Shot is nice because I can kind of use it as momentum to switch around. And yeah, that's the team. Uh, what am I not bringing? Ninja kind of felt like... Not the weak for it, Aegislash is bulky, resist both stabs, Togekiss, Air Slash would kill me, Incineroar, Flame Charge even would kill me. Not like a rack when it hits hard, you know, it's not the best weak for Ninjask. Uh, War Turtle, I actually was on the team, I think it's like this, if I had to pick a 7th mom, mom, mon, it'd be the 7th mon. Because even though it piles up my water weakness, or I guess my like grass or electric weakness, however you look at it, uh... Rapid spin is really nice. Flip turn is really nice, and then you know, getting going for skulls and all that would be a really nice thing to go for. But yeah, I think it just kind of has, has to sit out this week because I think Quagsar is just much more valuable, and I can't really cut it for War Turtle. Heliolisk, not the best week for it, I think, just because Jolteon, you know, Volt Absorb is not the best thing. And then you know, uh, Mudsdale, I can go for Grass Nuts against Mudsdale, but it kind of kills me with anything. Like I die to like Age of Slash, like. Uh, Iron Head as well, probably. So, yeah. And then finally, uh, not finally, Altaria. Uh, I had in, like, one of my drafts of the team, just because, you know, Dragon Flying is not bad against, like, Arachnid, not bad against, like, Incineroar. But I think uh, running just Latios is fine. And I think Confei is a better defogger in this case. And then fi finally, finally, Frostlass. Uh, thought about running it, thought about running Suicide Lead, like, Spikes, because I really wanted Spikes this week. And Frostlass is a really good user of Spikes. But... Yeah, I don't think it's the best week for it. Just a bit frail, especially with Aegislash running uh, Shadow Sneak. And yeah, uh, so as I said, uh, I'm playing tomorrow afternoon against Morgan, so I will see you all then. Okay, welcome to the live battle. First things first, uh, it is Saturday, actually. Uh, Morgan said she was feeling tired, so didn't play. Actually, wait, did I change my avatar? I did. But 
She said she didn't want to play yesterday, so we're playing today. Uh, I was just in a Zoom, not a Zoom, but Discord call, so kind of like semi out of it, I feel, but yeah, we'll get to it. It's feeling tired, but we will still play. Are you sure that's the team we're bringing? So, yep. Yeah. And yeah, uh, some things to note. Um, as well, I said that already, but uh, RSSP and Jacob, I believe, actually faced this week. So, third and fifth were facing each other. So, yeah, I guess. Um, what I wanted to say is, uh, I guess, spoilers if you want to see, but RSSP won. So, unless we lose, I feel pretty bad. We might be staying fourth, or depending on how other teams play, I think, like, if other teams go 6-2 and two and have a better differential, we might be staying in top four, or we might not be. I don't know. Like, it's not just interesting. We won't drop too far behind, I guess, the rest of the pack. But yeah, uh, sent the challenge, and yeah, we're here. Um, let's see, what, am I doing this? Or... Okay, so this is kind of what I expected. I remember saying this. So this being water absorb is useless now because no webs, no Araquanid, but no Jolteon is great. And, hmm, I'm just trying to think, what is the lead here? Because I could technically go Pangoro, because she did not bring Jolteon. And I can kind of go and, like, take something, you know? Like, if I lead Ferrothorn... If my expected lead's Ferrothorn and her expected lead's Mudsdale, do I want to uh, go away from that? It's actually a really bad matchup for Ferrothorn because she kind of brought everything that doesn't counter or counters Ferrothorn in a sense. Because Heat Wave, Fighting Type, Fighting Type, Fighting Type. I can really only get Ferrothorn in on this, so I might have to go into this now. But yeah, I'll start with Ferrothorn just because I think we'll see how she leads. If she leads Verizion, that's fine. If she leads this, this is also fine because I'm just going to get up as many hazards as I can. Not my, sorry, my water to make that sound, but yeah, we're just going to keep on um, stacking the hazards because her only way of removing them right now is Togekiss. So unless Togekiss is, is Defog, then she's not getting rid of these. She goes in center work. That's fine. And I realize this heavy duty boots. Okay, that helps. Probably parting shot, but just to be safe, I'm going to go Quag. We'll see how she plays this. Does she go for parting shot? Knock off. That's fine. Hmm. What could she go for? I'm going to yawn. I think yawning is the best play here. Because she either goes for parting shot or U-turn. And she has to be scared. Maybe this is Swords Knight. She has to be scared of Scald Burns. And if she goes something like uh, Audino, then that's also fine. Because I don't know what it's going to do if it gets slept. So something like probably like Mudsdale can come in, something like Togekiss can come in. If Togekiss comes in, it's going to get yawned. So yeah, I like this yawn play a lot. Worst case for me is this goes for Swords Dance, and then like U-Turn, but I don't know if it's that, especially with Heavy Duty Boots. Actually, it could be with Heavy Duty Boots, but... It was odd enough, yeah. So this might be Wish or Toxic. And if it's toxic, I kind of want to go back into Pharaoh, but I think I should recover here. Yeah, I'll recover because worst case, she goes Verizion, Verizion, and then I go Lottie. That's my best play. I believe my Lottie is my, yeah, Psychic Thunderbolt Reflect Wish, so I can recover here easily. Worst case scenario for me with Verizion is that this is fine too. Is I recover, and then I think I yawn again. Well, what do I do here? This is leftovers. This might be sub. How much do I do to sub Age of Slash? That's actually something I should have kept. I'm going to be a bit bold here. Uh, I had calc open, but then, oh no, I don't want to clear custom sets. 
I don't know what she's setting here or not because I'm looking at my other screen. A to slash. It's a sub. Earth power with uh, shield form, not blade. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Okay, so we'll go for Earth Power. Verizium, that's fine. That's completely fine. Because I think I have a free Lottie. And then I can go for Wish. Am I? I don't know. I feel, I feel like I'm really off today for some reason. But this, I haven't changed my camera position. So it's kind of like, it's either me or my left setup. I can move this a bit, but... I'm probably pretty much gonna stay in the same spot. <laughs> Chair goes down. I have a bit of G fuel left. I can drink that. And yeah. Yeah, I think she's thinking if she wants to go for Leaf Blade or Swords Dance. Oh! Sorry. But that is cool. Hmm. Let's see. I'm, I want to go for Reflect, but also Wish. How much would Megahorn do to me? Now this is a bit interesting. That's a nice pick. I forgot that Terrakion gets Megahorn, so Verzion probably would, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Verizion. So we're gonna assume this is Life Orb. Megahorn. But you're not Stone Edge, that's something to note. Megahorn, ooh. 94 to 111. So I would have died easily. I kinda wanna get up a reflect. Cause I think she's not staying in. I'm gonna for reflect. Yeah, I'm gonna reflect. Let's see, what, is she Scarf? Okay. So she would have let this go down. That's interesting. I'll Psychic here. If she goes Insin, that's smart. But I'm surprised she didn't go to it earlier. That's nice for me. Because this is a lot of damage on this. Even though it's Regenerator. I wish up here. So, wow. I'm actually surprised. Hmm. Did she protect? Then I can kind of T-bolt. I think T-bolting is my best play here. Because what's her play? Aegislash or Insin or... Ver She's not going Verizion. We T-bolt. Yeah. It was one or the other. That's the thing. 40. No paralysis. Is this Scarf? We'll find out now, realistically. I will wish. I think that's my play. No, wait. Is it my play or do I just go for Psychic? I think Wish is fine. No. Is it Nasty Plot? Trick? That's fine. Choice Scarf. Okay, that's good to know. Then what's my switch into maybe an Air Slash? Might be Comfe, honestly. I kind of want to go Quag, but Quag deals with Ensign. This is my, probably my least useful member, to be honest. Goes for Defog. Okay, that's something good to know. Is this Heat Wave then? If this is Heat Wave, it can't deal with Latios. I think I switch right back out, or I go into Quag. Hmm. It's not Pangoro. It's not Pangoro yet. Confei is not a bad choice because I am plus speed. So, I'm going to be faster than this no matter what. That's also good to note that this is going to be faster. I don't know how much Air Slash does to me, though. And I don't want to get burned. I think that's one thing I'm worried about. Because it is Ser Serene Grace. Can he make bur burn? I believe it does. Needle Cane. Air Slash. Ooh, that's a lot of damage that I don't want. Um, hmm. I think Comfey is not a bad mid ground here. Hmm, trick defog. I'm trying to think. Maybe Roost Air Slash. 
I would be surprised if you don't have roost. Can I let this go down? I could kind of let this go down, can't I? It's all gyro. Yeah, that's fine. No item, which means it's... What's it called? It's... Yeah, um, heavy duty boots. Well, I knew that already, but just to confirm it's not leftovers. Yep, Darkest Lariat, and I yawn. I yawn or scald here? I think I yawn. I wish I had Stealth Rock up at this moment, but I think this is best. Actually, we're gonna scald. Because I think her option is Audino, and Audino's gonna wish, and I'm gonna switch into Nido King. So go for the aggressive check there. Sorry about that. I just I didn't realize that this froze when I went to Discord. I thought it was just the OBS, but that makes sense. Hmm. So I'm gonna recover. I wanna see what he sorry, not he, she, she does. She might go into Verizion, but then it's kinda like, hmm, what do I do for there? If she goes into Verizion, I think I go for Latias. I don't care if she has Megahorn, because I still have ways to deal with this. And I think even at 63, Pangoro should deal with this. Pangoro. She does go Age Slash, so Pangoro, Verizia. Hmm. Why does she keep going Age Slash? Pangoro, yeah, Pangoro should kill at this range, so that's nice. Why does she keep going Age Slash? Is she making me think it's actually subtoxic? If it is subtoxic though, I don't think it's that bad of a deal for me. This Quag should still do a lot. Hmm. I'll Earth her again, it's fine. Yeah. I'll keep on Earth hiring just because she has to go Verizion at this point or Tobe, but then she doesn't want to go Tobe. So yeah, I'm going to keep Earth Hiring, because getting health on this is fine. I think this is interesting, because if I brought Ninjas, I think Ninjas would have done really well here. Yeah, she's going to go for a Wish, I go for I almost dropped my bottle. But, uh, we go into Nido. Yep, Wishes, I sub. And now we kind of go for it. Because Verizion doesn't have a double hit move, Aegis Ledge doesn't have like double Iron Bash. So yeah, this is kind of the setup I want to bring Needle King on. It would have been better if I used like U-turn or Parting Shot with uh, Pangoro, but I want it on in on this mod specifically. It's either this or Togekiss. Because Togekiss, now knowing it was scarfed, or was scarfed, is I guess is the bigger thing, is that now it can't outspeed me. So yeah. Because if she goes for knockoff, it doesn't do that much. If she's, if she's like psychic, that's quite surprising. Dazzling Gleam is not the end of the world because I'm resisted. If she's like flamethrower, I don't know how much I take. Because I believe her only attacking move should be knockoff. That's my expectation. I don't know if I'm sounding all right as well, but she does go Mudsdale. Which means I get the two at KO on this. Yeah. If she's going to go for Earthquakes. I think I can go for Earth Power now. One thing to note now is that only Verizion outspeeds me. So I think she's sacking this. Mudsdale. Earth Power. Yeah, should kill. But I don't really have no point not ice speeding here. So I'm going to ice speed. Trying to make it ambiguous, because there's no point of me kind of going for Earth Power here. Yeah, because she's either has to sack this or make switches and then hope that Aegis Slash like Shadow Sneak kills, but if it's sub toxic, it's probably not Shadow Sneak in my eyes. And with Aegis Slash being sub toxic, I have less inclination to believe it's uh, close combat. So Ferrothorn's a great wall to it. The only thing I don't want to do is knock off into Verizion, and that's only the only time it gets scary. Let me also calc. 
Because right now I know Pangora's close combat will kill Verizia and will Comfy. Uh, Verizia. Comfy right now will not. So that's something I have to keep in mind. Does go Audino. That's interesting. Because I'm going to sub. So maybe there is merit to Earth Powering here. But then, yeah, what does she do now? Does she protect? Okay. Earth Power should kill, but then she can't go into anything else. What's the... I don't know what to say, that's the thing. I can be I wanted to say, oh, I can tell you later my cool tech for Arachnid, but it's kinda like do I wanna tell her, uh 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 like you bring your arachnid probably wasn't a choice because I would have had a great counter to it. Like it seems kinda weird, right? On honestly though, let me check let me check something. Arachnid against Nidoking. If I sub Sludge Wave is a two-way KO most of the time. If it's heavy duty boots, if it's leftovers, it might not be. But dude. Yeah, 62% chance. That's right, rip. Alright, I'll just leave it. Checking phone. Yeah, I earth power, because it kills Mudsdale. And if she goes this, yeah. Oof. I think her play was to sack Mudsdale. Even though she doesn't get the rocks, I think her play was to sack Mudsdale there. Because that's the only thing I can think of at that point. I'm surprised she made the switch. Because... What if I subbed again? Then it's kind of like, well, you get your wishes up, but I get another Earth, like Earth Power, another Slug Wave off. So here's the thing. I don't know if Morgan's going to watch this back, but it's kind of like how I felt last week with seeing Kurum on Blaze's team. And I think, well, I don't know how much prep she did. That's a thing. But like, oh. Because here, yeah, here's the thing. It's kind of like, I think Scarf Toad was good. I don't know if Trick was the best option. Because I feel like... I guess it is, but then, like, Trick... Like, I guess its sole purpose being the Trick, I'm not too big of a fan of. Can I sub here again? I think that's what I do, right? She probably tries to go like Ken, uh, Kenny Audino Mega. I know you can't read that name, but it's Kenny Audino Mega. You probably saw it here. Does this kill me? Does she have Air Slash? Yeah. See, that's the thing. If she was. So she's not Air Slash. I guess that's the big thing. Because I was expecting Air Slash.
Just trick Defog Dazzling Gleam. I'll just ask her straight up, because it's kind of like, this is nearly over. Ice Sludge Wave, I think it's stronger. Wait, is it not? Uh, oh, I don't know. No, Sludge Wave is stronger. I can sub again, but then it's kind of like, where does that get me? I guess I can sub, but... Yeah, she goes for knockoffs. Yeah, this is stronger, but it's like, wow. I'm surprised I don't 2KO. So I have to let something go down here, which kind of is a shame, but... It's a shame, because... Oh, no 6 up, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Oh, she goes Mustale! Uh, I just slowed it again. Unless this is, like... Unless this has Quick Attack that I don't know of. Yeah, Regenerator's not gonna help here. So I just keep going for Sludge Wave. Yeah, Mudsdale goes down here. Why does she keep bringing this in? That's my thing. I was bringing the Verzian. Okay, this goes down. I believe Hangoro kills here now. Hangoro. Yeah. I should win. Vangor's gonna get the last two kills here, unless this is bulky. If it's bulky though... Yeah, no, I should... Wait, did I? Oh no, I thought I thought I must calculate this. Close combat. That should be GG. I'm typing, I'm leaving this here. I'm leaving this here. I won't type it. But yeah, I'm Scarf. <laughs> that, that's the thing. I think I wouldn't have brought this in if I wasn't Scarf. I could say, I want to say Psych, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, so 5 0. Um, okay, thoughts. Uh, some thoughts. Arachnid wouldn't have been a bad bring just because it deals with Lottie. But yeah, um, Togus I mentioned. Yeah, Weezing at no going to break sub? Maybe. I actually am not sure. And then I can check her team out now, but I don't remember all of it. Uh, Lunatone. Yeah, um, Arachnid wasn't bad, wouldn't have been bad, I'm trying to think what else. 
Jolteon, I don't know how it would have done. I think Jolteon actually might have been a better pick for a Wish Passer than Audino, purely based on it getting Hyper Voice. I think that's one thing to note. But I'll leave it there, just like, to wrap it up. But uh, thank you so much for watching, if you have been watching till now. I'm sorry about the little pause. I was checking Discord and I didn't realize it paused. But uh, yeah, uh, actually I don't know if it'll appear that way, but it appeared that way on OBS. So yeah, um, we're now 7-2. and two. And next week we face Helix and the Potown Bud Pimps. And I believe Helix can or maybe not. I don't think he can make playoffs, but we're not going to really let it be relaxed. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you all next week.